At Cornhusker Auto Center, bragging is not our style, but that doesn't mean our customers can't. Great people, easy transaction, went out of their way to help. Thank you. Amazing place to buy a vehicle. Great staff all around. I would recommend Cornhusker Auto to anyone. Time out. Welcome back to Time Out, where week four of the football season, we are just about ready for district play and some big matchups coming up this week. We're going to start things off not with the Friday night lights, but the Thursday night lights. Norfolk with a big 35-20 victory over Lincoln Northeast. The Panthers, 28 points in the third quarter to get their first win of the season. Braden Splater ran the ball 35 times for 199 yards, three touchdowns. Jace Monday, 14 of 18, passing 204 yards. Here's the only thing that might temper all of the hype and excitement getting the first win of the season. Norfolk, 1-3 on the season. You host Omaha South, who is 3-1 on the season this Thursday. Turning our attention to the rest of the games that happened on Friday night. We'll start off with Norfolk Catholic hosting Class C number two ranked Bancroft Rosalie Lions Decatur. BRLD began the night with back to back touchdown drives a 12 to nothing lead, but Norfolk Catholic flipped the field and really the momentum of the game with a 57 yard punt stepped up on defense also. Caden Cunningham gets a couple of passing touchdowns. Riley Carlson hits a field goal all of a sudden. It is 18 to 17 at halftime. But then what could have been the play of the game. Norfolk Catholic gets a great drive to start the second half. Looked like it was a touchdown. Instead, he was real just short of the end zone. And then BRLD gets a stop on fourth down. And next thing you know, the Wolverines get back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives again to regain the momentum. Here's BRLD coach Dan Marsh. Uh, Norfolk Catholic comes in this game 0-3. But anytime you can beat the name like that, it just makes your kids rise and feel 10 feet tall. Will Gatzmeyer had a huge night for the Wolverines. 443 yards of total offense and four touchdowns. 16 to 24 passing, 316 yards. He also had 24 carries for 127 yards. 24 passes, 24 runs, epitomizing the dual threat. Here's Will Gatzmeyer. All for us, we know that uh, they're 0-3, but obviously they're a good team, and we had some injuries in the first half, and some young guys stepped up, and that really helped us, and they know they need to be ready now. And Last week we talked about Lutheran High Northeast coming into a big stretch of the season. Lutheran High ranked second last week, going to number four ranked Wakefield. 22-16 game at halftime, and before you know it, it all of a sudden turned into the Justin Herb breakout bash. Justin Herb, 43 carries, 409 yards, 5 rushing touchdowns. Those are Melvin Gordon numbers. But also, Lutheran High Northeast dealing with some injury issues also. Not a good thing when you will be hosting another top 5 type of team the following week. Also last week, Battle Creek with a 30-0 win over O'Neill. Yes, the Braves had 230 rushing yards. Reese Bodie led the way, 21 carries for 120 yards. But the story of the game might have been the defense for Battle Creek. They allowed five first downs in this game. Battle Creek dominating that category 16-5. That is going to win you a lot of football games. Speaking of football games, there are some big games this way, both Class C and Class D. Let's start off with the Class C slate. You have Wayne, kind of a surprise team sitting there at 3-1. and one. Blue Devils with a huge double overtime win over Columbus Lakeview. The only problem with that, you travel to face number one ranked Pierce. That's one of several big games. Even more so in Class D. Start off with Howell's Dodge. Look for them to move up in the ratings. They will travel to Norfolk to face Lutheran High Northeast. A couple of Class D2 teams that are, well, let's put it this way, there's not a whole lot more they could have done at this point. Bloomfield at Allen. Both of them are 3-0. Allen has not allowed a whole lot of points coming off of another huge win Friday night. And another matchup to watch, Neely Oakdale. They're moving up in the rankings. They travel to 3-0 Laurel Concord Coleridge. That might be one of the bigger games that Laurel has hosted in, honestly, a little while. And another game to keep an eye on, preseason ranked Guardian Angels Central Catholic coming off a win. They travel to Wisner Pilger, who is 3-0 already this season. 
Like I said, the ratings are going to be changing. Look for those changes in Tuesday's paper. Wednesday will feature the predictions column. For all of our local sports coverage, just buy the newspaper. It's 75 cents at newsstands. Or just check out that digital subscription, that intro price. Like I've said, 99 cents a month for the first three months. $4.99 a month after that. Let's just say I spent a little more than $4.99 at Oktoberfest. Chamber puts on a great event every year here in Norfolk. Until next time, I'm Nick Benish. And thanks for taking a time out with us.